That's live. Hello, so everybody. So we're waiting for the rest of our group to show up. We're gonna okay. We kind of wait. I can I can see in my corner if I have any viewers. How many people do you have on your class right now? Uh, I just have one family. Okay. Yeah. So we can wait. Oh, I've got two folks joining us right now. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Happy on, Friday. Hey. So if you look on the screen oh, right yeah. up here, you can see how many people are watching. Okay. And as you see, I'm back. We're waiting. Oh, oh, hello, Jess. How are you? How's everybody at your house? Uh, we've got um, Jess Bradley, and so she's probably there with Coco and Renee. Don't you get? Do you guys want to say hi to Coco and Renee? Hi. <laughs> Okay. Well, where is Colette and Renee? Where, oh, I can't yeah. hear her. Well, we're not going to be able to hear the people who are watching us. We're only going to be able to see them. So one, um, one. We can't see them. I mean, we're only going to be able to see their their comments. So I'll read them to you as they come in. Okay, Maxwell. Um, one of the um, tools that we neglected to put in our list was either a blender or a food processor. If you have it, great. You can go ahead and grab it now. But if not, it's not a big deal. Renana? Yeah. Who's Renana? She you wanted to remember what your name was. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we'll wait for a few more minutes. Okay. I think we've got we've got about six people joining us this morning. Is this We're looking cheese? forward to having pancakes for lunch. This is cheese, Maxwell. Uh, so we've got, oh, hi guys, Amelia and David and Paul are here. Oh, Good morning. Oh, you play tennis with them. Oh, yeah. Those are your tennis friends. How fun. Wait, do they know, know the farm? They know the farm. How? Because they live here. They live and they know the us. Farm. No, they well, live hi, in our Olivia. town. Hi, Olivia. How are you? So we've got a good crew. We've got about... Eight folks watching, eight different um, families watching, and you've got your family. Are you waiting for anybody else, Renana, or should we go ahead and start? Uh, no, I think we can start. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to be making green pancakes. I want to introduce um, all of my friends. Hi, Hi. David. <laughs> I wanna... Hi, David. Hi, David. I want to introduce all of my friends to Renana. I can't, I can unmute oh, and I can hear you. I can't hear what you're saying, Michelle. Okay. Oh, hello, Gillian. Um, they're joining in from Philadelphia. How wonderful. I can't see you. Welcome. Oh, you can't see us? Okay, hold on. Okay. You got everybody? Okay. So we have Renana here, and she is from Fiddlehead's Cooking Studio in New York. Renana, do you want to tell my group a little bit about what you do and where you um, are? So and yeah, so Fiddlehead's is a cooking school for kids. Uh, we're in Westchester, New York. Uh, we usually have uh, weekly classes, weekly classes, and but now, of course, we can't have any classes, just these vir virtual ones. Um, and so we are partnering with um, uh, with Jen at uh, Yellow Farmhouse uh, for this morning, and we are going to make some uh, pesto pancakes, which you can also make as waffles, whatever you prefer, and whatever you can make at home. Um, <coughs> So should we start right away? Yeah, we go ahead and get started. And I just um, wanted to mention, if anybody happens to be in New York, Renana's classes are amazing. And she and I also do a lot of teacher training <laughs> together. That's how we kind of know each other well. So um, I'm so excited that she's joining us today. And she's yeah. also offering um, cooking classes uh, through Zoom, right? Starting in April. Right. Yeah. So uh, uh, this until the end of March, we have a few classes that people can uh, join. And if you're happy and if you'd like to get a membership for, for the um, online classes, you can reach out. I'll give you information uh, on how to do that from the beginning okay. of April. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I thought of doing something super simple. It's 11 o'clock, so we're... Some of us are still, you know, maybe thinking about breakfast, but thinking ahead about lunch. So this is something that can work for breakfast or lunch or even dinner, if you love pancakes. Uh, and these are savory pancakes, so they are not sweet. Um, but if you don't want to um, make them savory and you don't want to add any grains, you can make just regular pancakes with us this morning as well. Um, but this adds adding some pesto to the pancake batter um just makes it a little different and maybe you want to try something new today um so i'm going to show you what i'm going to use for my pesto 
And pesto is traditionally made from uh, basil. I don't have any basil. It's not really basil season in New York, but you can find other green stuff that you can uh, use to make pesto. So I have a mix of different things. Um, I have some baby spinach that I had in my fridge and we're gonna use some of that. I also have some frozen peas and I found a couple of broccoli florets in the fridge as well as some frozen green beans. So I'm gonna use all of those to make pesto today. Um, and if you are using anything frozen, um, I just put it in a bowl to, to thaw a little bit. I'm actually gonna run it under water so it won't be, you know, it's gonna mix well in the food processor. So let me just, I'm just gonna go to the sink for a second, I'll be back. And while she's doing that, I thought I would mention for those of you who are here in Stonington, um, I was at the farm today and they do have spinach and other greens, um, which are kind of this, you know, amazing, beautiful spinach that um, has been growing all winter long at the farm. Um, so I didn't have any greens this morning and then just happened to go in um, to, to do a few things at my desk and saw that they had greens. So I picked those up. But what I was going to do if I didn't have greens was either just make the pancakes without the pesto, which are totally delicious, or I was thinking about maybe uh, shredding some carrots. So skipping the pesto step and shredding carrots. Um, to add to our pancakes. So if you don't have um, greens and you want to skip the pesto step, maybe start shredding some carrots um, or you can start shredding some cheese. Um, or you also mentioned, Renata, that we could use dried herbs as well. So yeah, if you don't have any greens and you still want to make uh, savory pancakes, you can use some dry herbs. Sure. Uh, I have some Italian seasoning here or oregano or thyme or any of those um, you can use and still make them savory. Okay, cool. So I've got yeah. I've got spinach. Yeah. Okay. So Yummy. I'm gonna use. Um, I have about probably three quarters of a cup of spinach. Oh, mom, I like this. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in the food processor. Okay, I'm gonna use a blender. And I'm gonna put in my peas. So you need if you need about two cups of greens, whatever it is that you're using. Okay, but you know, I think also, I mean, we could also have it, which I think I may do. I may just have the number of greens because I think I'm going to make half of my pancakes with the um, pesto and half without. Okay, yeah, do you want to go ahead and so I put all the greens in before here. we started cooking. Um, I'm running low on olive oil, so I'm going to use some olive oil and some just plain oil, vegetable oil. And we need okay. about two tablespoons, so I put about one tablespoon here. Ooh. And I'm going to get a little bonus green in here. Oh, can I eat it? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I'm curious. And you want to start processing this and then you can, while this is going, you can either, I have some uh, grated Parmesan cheese, but you can use any kind of cheese that you like and you have at home. I have some cheddar cheese here as well or some Gouda cheese. Um, and you can just, if it's a really hard cheese, you want to grate it before uh, you put it in the food processor, but it's a little bit softer. You can just put it straight in the food processor. Renata, did you say how much oil do you think we should put in? Uh, about two tablespoons, I think. About two tablespoons. Yeah. And and um, for those of you also, since we didn't put on that we were um, going to be doing the, uh, pe the pesto with a um, food processor, one of the options you could do for little hands, which I love doing with little kids, is just having them break it up into tiny little pieces. And we can put that in a bowl with the cheese and just mix it together. And it'll just be a chunkier version instead of a pesto version. But you can absolutely just do that with a little olive oil, a little bit of cheese, break it up into as small pieces as they can. And that will keep hands busy for a little bit. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in here. Um, so I put some grated Parmesan cheese in here. And I'm going to put a little chunk of cheddar cheese in the food processor as well. And I, we're going to use cheddar because um, um, so I have some Parmesan cheese, but you can use cheddar cheese or any hard cheese that you have. Yeah, I'm going to use cheddar because we have an abundance of cheddar. About like a third of a cup, something like that. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we're I'm just going to turn it on. It might be a little noisy. 
and I'm just pulsing this until it becomes a paste. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm still shredding my cheddar cheese, which I think you said would be better, right? Okay, Cole's gonna do the shredding. It might need a little bit of help. Just push your stuff down a little bit. Well, I'm gonna. Do that. Okay. I'm gonna get a spoon just to push it and down. Now can you get hands, we're almost done. Okay. We're just shred we're still shredding our cheddar. So okay. if anybody out there would like us to slow down, let us know. All right. Good. I think we can put that that next piece in as a big chunk. Let's see how it's doing. So I'm putting my yeah. cheese in. And did you put any yeah. salt or anything yeah, in? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm going to put a couple of pinches of salt in no. here. Can you put the salt from the cupboard for oh, me yeah, to drink something more? Yeah, I'll give you a piece of cheese. We're taking cheese. a little cheese break over here. I want to eat cheese. Well, there's no cheese there. But why is there no cheese um Jillian was asking us to remind her what's in the blender. And so currently in the blender, we've got, um, we're not, I'm just going to slow down for just a second. Sure. Can you hear me? So um, there was a question about um, what's in the blender. So right now, all I have, I haven't blended mine yet, but I've got some olive oil. I've got some greens. In my case, I'm using spinach, but Renana was using um, spinach. Um, uh, I had frozen peas, uh, green beans, and a couple of broccoli florets. So whatever greens you have. Now, if you don't have um, greens with you and you just want to use, um, like I said, a shredded carrot, go ahead and just shred some carrots. If you don't have a blender, just go ahead and tear it into little pieces and mix it with the grated cheese and the um, olive oil. And then the question was about the salt. Renana, what do you think for the salt? Uh, I put a couple of pinches of salt. You do want to taste it and then add some more because the cheese, usually the cheeses are very salty. So uh, I, okay. I usually salt it at the end. So I put like a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, I would say, if I counted that up. So I'm going to go okay. ahead and put mine up. I'm just going to blend it a little bit more. We have like about one more minute of blending over here. Yum. 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 Okay. Right over here on my I have one piece of broccoli that's not blending. I'm just gonna let it go for now. Okay. But what's blending? Do I ask your question? Okay. Is there a pesto ready, guys? This one right here. The pulse. Keep pressing that one. Pulse? So we're gonna go ahead and blend here. It might be a little bit noisy over here while we are blending. <laughs> But I'm not kind of cheating. I'm using my Ninja blender. We usually use this for smoothies, but we're using it today for a pesto. We're going to see how it works. Let's see how it's looking. Michelle, do you want to show me? It looks great. Yeah. All right. Yes, that's right, Amy. We're making pesto. That's awesome. And yours is looking like pesto. That's great. Okay. Good. I might need a little bit more olive oil. And the thing with pesto, friends, is that I know we always I think about <laughs> we okay. often think about pesto as um, I'm just gonna leave it on the side for now. Okay. Um, and if everybody's ready, we're gonna start making our pancake batter. Okay. And Matt, I was just gonna mention a few things about pesto. Oh, yeah. yeah. You don't have to have the pesto on yours. That's the best thing is that we can make pancakes plain. We can make it with pesto. I'm just making a little bit of pesto here. For, um, for my adventurous eaters here who will eat with us. Um, the pesto, we usually make it with, you know, it's often thought of as like basil and um, garlic and olive oil and pine nuts and Parmesan cheese. But for, um, you know, we always make, whenever I have like leftover herbs or any leftover greens, you just mix them all together with a little bit of olive oil um, you could add garlic if you want, but if you don't like garlic, skip the garlic. You add a little Parmesan cheese if you want. If not, skip the Parmesan cheese. You can add nuts or pumpkin seeds. You really can add anything to your pesto um, to make this nice, delicious green sauce. So we're gonna do ours a little more. We're not a year tasting yours. Yep, this is how mine looks like. Yeah. That's so beautiful. It's a little noisy. 
in here because of that looks good. Because you can also good. taste it if you want. Yes. All right, I think we're ready. It tastes really good. Stop up to the top. Yeah. I taste yeah. mostly yeah, right. cheese. But can I see the pesto? I want to see it. Yeah, you want to see it? Does anybody want to taste their pesto and tell me what they think about it? And, and Renana, just so everybody knows, Renana's also doing um, a Zoom class at the same time. So total multitasking. Yeah. Here's my oh, pesto. Hi to Nana and Papa. Oh, yeah. Nana and our, our Nana and Papa are here. So hello, oh, okay. Papa. Delicious. <laughs> okay. Papa. okay. Wait, so our pesto is ready. Um, and now we're going to. Ours is really good, too. Uh, the pancake batter. Okay, yeah, so we should put this to the side, right, yeah. Ramona? It's a very easy batter. I'm sure you've all made pancakes before. And if you you have a pancake mix that you like and you usually use, you can just use the pancake mix instead of the flour and everything else. Um, and I also know that down here in Westchester, um, we're running low on flour. There's no flour in the stores. So if you do have pancake mix and not uh, flour, then go ahead and use your pancake mix instead. Okay. How is your how is flour up there? Do you have flour in your stores? I haven't checked the stores. Um, I don't know if anybody else wants to comment on that. We bought a lot of flour before um, Friday. So we're stocked here, but you can also have your um, recipe if you want to. And then, Renana, was there other um, flours that you were mentioning yesterday to me? So, yeah, if you're gluten-free, you can use it with gluten-free flour, or there's a different kind of flour that you like, then you um, go ahead and use that flour. This recipe is very flexible in that way. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to put my cup of flour in the bowl and then i'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder okay so one cup of flour one cup of flour cups, uh two spoons two That's teaspoons so of baking powder <laughs> so, i'm sorry did you say two teaspoons two teaspoons of baking powder okay um I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, Matt Cole, can you do two teaspoons of, oh, I got flour all over my shirt. Um, can you do a teaspoon? Yep. Cole's going to do one teaspoon. That's and good. And a little Ready? pinch of salt. Okay, hold on. What did you do after the, the baking powder? Was so I have one cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, uh, one tablespoon of sugar, Oh, okay. And a, of salt. and a pinch of salt? Yeah. Okay, so we're doing a tablespoon of sugar next. One tablespoon of sugar. And Maxwell, will you do my pinch of salt? I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in my hand. You take a pinch, so to do a pinch, you just pinch some salt, and I'll do another little pinch. Okay, and then we're just we're just whisking that together. Yes. So I have a whisk, and I'm just mixing all of our dry ingredients. Okay, we're gonna do the same. I've got our bowl here, and you might need to hold yours up a little higher. I can't you figure out how to get rid of the um. Not yet, sweetie. Not till it's done. Okay. Nope. How much? Um. How much? What? Sorry. Sugar. Sugar. One tablespoon. Can I stir, mommy? Yeah. I want to do it. I want to do it. And um, all of these dry ingredients is actually what a pancake mix is. So if you want to save yourself some time um, and make yourself some pancake mix so you won't have to make it in the morning if you're making pancakes, you can just use this uh, recipe as a basic recipe and then you can, you know, just add um, eggs and uh, milk to it when you need to use it. So sometimes... Um, I just make this in advance and put it in the pantry and use it as needed. That is, that is such a good idea. So that's basically like your pancake mix ready to go. Yep. And I usually do it. Well, now nobody's going on vacation, but when we go away for a few days uh, and, you know, go on an Airbnb or something, I'll make this pancake mix and just put it in a big jar or a Ziploc bag um, and use it uh, when we're, not home. 
I love it. Great. Okay. Is everybody so ready? We have for the next all of our dry ingredients. Um, I'm going to set them to the side and I'm going to bring another bowl to put our wet ingredients. So I have another okay. empty bowl over here. Okay. So put this one to the side. Yeah. We're putting the dry ingredients to the side and now we're doing the wet ingredients. Okay. And we have one egg. Okay. We're going to crack the egg. Charlie, are you going to crack the egg? I know you know how to crack eggs really well. You want to crack the egg, Michael? So remember, you, we, I always talk about when we're cracking an egg to crack, to make it kind of one line across in the middle and then put your two thumbs into the crack Ayla and pull it apart. Ayla cracked the egg and she did it perfectly. Oh, so, good job, Ayla. <laughs> that's the axe call. Okay, so we have the egg in here. Okay, two thumbs in the middle. And pull it apart. Good. Good job. Now, good job, Cole. Okay, okay, now go wash your hands off quick. Um, Everybody you knows. Know, trick. I, oh, sorry, I was just going to mention the trick about a shell. Sorry, if anybody has a shell that got into their bowl, one of the tricks is to use another piece of the shell to pull it out. It'll stick to the shell. Because you know how if you reach in with your fingers, it never you can never get it. It slips but, off. But use yeah. a shell. <laughs> to scoop up the pieces that are in there. Cause we had one tiny little shell that just snuck its way in there, but we got it. Okay. Okay. At this point, before we continue, I am actually gonna, we're gonna make some, I'm gonna make some pancakes. So I'm gonna turn my griddle on just so it's gonna start warming up. So oh, ask me something. Just going to plug this in. And of course, you can also do it in a pan or if you have a waffle maker, whatever you have at home and you want to make this morning. Um, so now I'm going to add some milk to the egg. Um, okay. I usually, if I'm making regular pancakes, um, I add one cup of milk. But today, because we have the pesto and it's going to add some moisture to our batter, I'm only going to add three quarters of a cup of milk. Okay. So okay. if you're making regular pancakes, you should put one cup. And if you're making the pesto pancakes, you should put three quarters of a cup. All right. Are we making oh, pesto pancakes? I love doing the milk. Okay. So it's three so quarters. So he's going to um, And if you're running low on milk and you have some yogurt at home, you can just use some yogurt and add, add a little bit of water to it to make it more liquid. Um, or if you have a drinkable yogurt, um, or if you don't have any dairy and you want to just use water, you can also do that. Okay, great. So I'm adding the milk to our egg. Perfect. And now we are going to add some oil. So we need two tablespoons of oil. Okay. Um, as you see, I'm running low on oil. My two oil bottles are empty here. Um, I did a little bit of frying last night and I have some oil in my pan. So I'm just going to use that because. Oh, that's such right a now. great idea because I, I saved my oil. We made donuts the other day. Yeah. Ella was learning about Greek donuts, right, Al? What are they called? Yeah. And um, we Lucamades. were learning about Lucamades, right? Cool. Thank you. That was her project for school. And so yeah. the extra oil, and I, I saved it, which I have never really done before. And yeah. um, I was but not. Yeah, if the oil is not, you know, it hasn't burnt or it's, you know, it still has to be kind of clear. If it's getting a little brown, then it's going to have. Uh, a burnt flavor to it, which yeah, no, it was totally like, clear, and, and you can use. So um, it's if it's still clear and clean, and there are no pieces in it, you can recycle your oil. Um, and to this, I to the dry to the wet ingredients, I am going to add the pesto. Oh, we're gonna add the the pesto to the wet ingredients. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna get another spoon. Can you give me the pesto for me, Paul? On the table. And I'm not going to add all of it um, because I want to serve some pesto on top of the pancakes as well. So okay. if you want to use 
I can um, you can use all of it, or if you want to keep some for later or serve on top of the pancakes. Um, okay. You can. I think I'm going to add all of those. So I'm going to leave. I probably left about a quarter of a cup in here, more or less. And I also found a chunk of cheese that wasn't. Yeah, we've got a couple chunks. My my Ninja Blender is not so great at making. Um, so the oil is both for, we're going to use a little, we can easily use butter. There's a question about whether the oil is for frying or for the batter. So, um, yeah, so the oil is for the batter, and then I like to fry with the butter. Um, right, so we're going to add butter to our oil pan for the... Um, you can just melt the butter and add it to the wet ingredients instead of oil. Okay, so here's my wet ingredients, and I added the two tablespoons of oil to the wet ingredients. Yep. Plus a cup of milk, and it was one egg. And what so egg? It was only three quarters of a cup of milk since we added the um, the, the pesto. pesto, which was a little bit wet. And I kind of halved my pesto. I just made it up, which is like yeah. a, you totally do a bowl for pesto. All right, so okay, I'm going to show you what my. Can you put this? See, in? maybe I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. Awesome. So this is what my wet ingredients look like. Mine are looking pretty similar. Yeah. Um, I well, added. You show me your wet ingredients. Or oh, you already mix them together. Okay. Okay. So Amy um, asked, how much pesto did I add? So I added all my pesto. I have no idea how much it was. I made like a cup. I used like a cup of greens, and it, it's like how I, you can add a ton oh, of pesto. Probably a we're cup. Not much. Oops, we're losing you there, Renana. I think it's probably a cup. Oh. Well, yeah, ours was not a full cup. Ours was definitely less than a cup of pesto. It was probably like. Oh, okay, well, you I have a hundred. Oh, it was at the time. You can see me. Anyway, we had like a half a cup. I would say we're not. If they uh, I can't do it yet. Do you think they should add the full cup? If they add, they made a. Sorry, Amy made a cup of pesto. Okay, maybe they can hear me. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, Renata, can you um, hear me? Now we are going yeah. to mix our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. Okay. Hold and you've already done that. I see you mixing. Very good. I'm going to type something because I don't think Renata can hear us. And we have this beautiful green batter. Okay. We don't want to over mix it. I don't know that you can hear us, Renata. Can so, you see that? <laughs> I added um, probably, let's see, if you're using like pesto that you got at the store, you'd want to add about three quarters of a cup. Okay. Okay. This is so what I added, looks only like added about a, um, about a half a cup. I'm going to put my whisk over here. So we're having quite a time to start with pancakes. We're going to move everything out of the way. Okay. I'm going to bring the griddle closer. Here's the griddle. Okay. I am going to get some butter. Or a griddle. Okay, well, for my group, I just added a note for Renata. I don't know why she can't hear. I like to use about a quarter days. of a cup <laughs> to scoop up the batter. Okay, can you read that? I can't hear you. I know. I so I'll, I'll just hold up a finger if we are talking, okay? Can let's you, see. Let's try oh, no, to get you can't me. hear me. I can hear you. <laughs> you can't hear us. You can hear me. Okay, yes. I can't hear you. I'm just going to continue. Okay, if I hold up a finger like this. So I have a quarter of okay. a cup. Yeah, all right. And I'm let's going to <laughs> scoop up the batter and put it on the griddle. So my group, if you have any comments, let me know. I've got my batter going here. 
And we're not, um, Ella, can you turn on yeah. your, um, can you turn on the oven? Yeah. I mean, the stove top. Yeah. We're going to get that going. Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, the one up in the front though, sweetie. So we're going to go ahead. So I've got my green batter ready here. I mix my wet into my dry. And if it's looking a little bit dry, you can add some water or some milk. If it's looking a little bit wet, um, you could add a little bit of flour. Mine's looking pretty good. So we're going to put the, um, the, okay pan onto we just have a tiny little pan that we're going to use so i'm going to move my camera over to my kitchen to my stove where ella is we just have a tiny little pan here so we're going to do one pancake I have my spatula. and i'm going to check if my pancakes are ready to be flipped not yet okay and i'm adding my butter to the pan now let me put this up a little bit. There we go. We're adding butter to the pan, and I'm going to move this, let's see, a little. That way, there we go. So Ella's doing that. We're adding butter to the pan, and we're we're going to add our mix. So those of you who are watching on Facebook Live, how's everybody doing? Does anybody need us to stop or slow down? I think some of my pancakes are ready to be flipped. Let's see okay. where they are. Look good. Okay, so my pancakes just went in and we're just gonna let them warm up. And you know the trick that if they're a little bubbly on the top, they're just about ready to flip. And in a moment, we'll go ahead and flip ours. And then we're going to start our craft. Um, so I'm going to finish cooking mine a little bit later. We're going to be making a pancake flipper. And we'll practice our flipping skills. Because can everybody see how Renana is flipping her pancakes so nicely? So you kind of go under them and you do a quick turn of your wrist. So I'm going to get my spatula. And I'm almost ready to flip mine too. Are you going to be my taste tester? Sure. Oh, yeah. You I like it? Okay, great. And you, you all like the pesto, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I know you can't hear me. But that's okay. My group can hear me and we can hear you. You have yours on. Um, I don't have you on mute. Let me try something here. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see your pancake. They look beautiful. Very nice. Okay. And you can serve them with that extra pesto. It smells super good. It smells good. Some sour cream. And the kids like sour cream. Just plain, just like that. I'm gonna stab it, but I'm just gonna yeah. the camera. Do you think your kids are gonna taste them, Michelle? All right. How's my group doing out there? Is anybody throwing up some pancakes? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Amy's making yeah. their pancakes. That's great. Yeah. I did not do a good job on my flipping, but that's okay. They'll still cook. You're welcome. I hope to see you next week. I'll send you the information. <laughs> Bye. It's okay. All right. I'm having a terrible time flipping my pancake because this, this pan is so little. But I'm going to get under there. And I think partly. Okay, there we go. Got it. So I'm going to try to log out and then log in again. Okay, that sounds that good. Work. I'm gonna, Great. I'm gonna um I'm gonna remove you from the stream and add her back in. So she's gonna try to come back. So we're cooking our pancakes now, and I'm gonna stop for a moment after mine are done, and we're gonna do our craft. Um, and I'm gonna finish up my pancakes for lunch after. I cannot wait to eat these. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I love making um pancake batter. I am <laughs> from scratch. Cole's gonna try a little bit. He's doing a little dance for everybody, a little entertainment while we're waiting for our pancakes to finish. Elle, do you want to go grab a plate for us? And we'll do a little plate. taste test. A big plate or a tiny plate? Um, a little plate is probably Mom. good. It smells Mom. super good. Mom, um, Mom. that's strange. And I see Oder is here from Brazil. Hello there. Thank you for joining us. Do you know her? No, a new friend. And um, Julia says that they're a little bit behind, or I should say... Um, David and Amelia are a little bit behind, but that's okay. We'll wait for you to catch up. And in the meantime, we're gonna do a little taste test. And while we're doing a little bit of a taste test, I'm gonna turn mine off. So I'll just save the pancake batter for a little bit later. Uh, we're gonna do our craft. 
Tatis. Oh, and I see that um, that we have Coco and Renee are making theirs and it's looking delicious. Here's our pancakes here. If anybody has ricotta cheese, that might be delicious right on top it of these. Really good. And we're gonna put these over here. So now we're gonna see if everybody's gonna try them. So I'm walking and talking with everybody. I'm close up my pantry oh, there. Well, I guess that's yours now. So Cole and uh, Maxwell and Ella are going to do a little taste Mommy, test on these. Mommy. Yeah. Where, where's Colette and Renee? They're in their own kitchens. <laughs> they're, but they are cooking with you. I was going to give you some forks, but my kids decided not to pay for forks. What do you guys think? Great. <laughs> oh, Maxwell. It is awesome. <laughs> awesome. I want a little taste. So here's what I want to say about yeah. these. They are good. They're sweet too. They are a little bit sweet. So, friends, actually, maybe we'll stay here for our craft. This is a good spot. I like these. Here's what I want to say. My Maxwell, this one right here, does not eat a lot of green things, do you? I do not eat. I eat the green things. Mom, this is like a real pancake. It is like a real pancake. It is like a real pancake with Mom, skin I want in it. One, please. You want the rest? <laughs> Yes, yes, you don't yes. know how much this means. I have to tell you oh, um, that as a person who teaches cooking, I always think it's kind of funny that I have such a picky eater. But when he tries something and likes it, it makes me extremely happy. And it reminds me that just because somebody doesn't eat something one day does not mean they won't eat something the next day. Um, so whenever anybody says to me, like, oh, I don't good. eat that, I say, not today, maybe, but maybe tomorrow. So let's That's go ahead and get our craft. Can you guys, Ella, why don't you pull up a chair there and we'll do our craft all together. I'm going to give you guys each your... That's super good. I'm so glad. I'm going to get our materials for our craft. Oh, I lost them. That's super good, Michael. Yeah. Can you try the No. Mom, can I more? Yes, I'm going to make more as soon as we finish up our craft. So now... If everybody has a piece of paper, I'm just using like um, kind of a hard card stock, but you absolutely could use um, a, a thin cardboard um, from actually, Ella, will you want to go outside and grab something from the recycling? We're going to grab a, a box from the recycling bin. Um, so we're going to use a piece of paper that's a little bit thicker than regular paper. You don't want to use like a regular paper for this. Mom, we're going to use um, some felt. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye, Cole. Bye. And we're gonna use, um, I have these little pieces of wood that I found in our craft closet, but we also have some craft sticks like these. I found two of these, and you could even use a pencil, which I had over there as well. Um, Wait, and where's my ice? You wanna go grab your ice? I think it's over there. So all we're doing for this craft, Thanks, Renan. I'm so glad he liked them too. We miss you. I don't know what happened with the sound there, but Renan is joining in on her comments. So you're just going to cut, cut a, a rectangle that's about uh, maybe two inches by three inches, like this big, like the top of a spatula. Yeah, if you could actually, maybe you could just cut the top of this would be perfect. It's a little. Is that a little wobbly? Here, you can use this these no, bigger no, scissors. This is like is it is it the right size? Yeah, that'll work. Mom, back to shaving this block. Okay, and then we're gonna um and then we're gonna cut a circle with our felt. So we're just gonna cut a piece of felt into a circle. Now, if you don't have felt, you could just cut another piece of paper. Okay, you do not have to do it as a um as a piece of felt. It's just sort of fun. But if you and don't have it felt, have to be a circle. Well, it, we're, we're making a pancake. Our felt is the pancake, and our cardboard is the top of our um, spatula or pancake flipper, which and is what I've been calling it. If you it. have, like, uh, if you and your child, or you have two children or three children, you could all make one and challenge them to a pancake flipping contest. Ooh, I see like that idea. You can flip it the most without it falling off there. That is uh, a great spatula. idea. So I'm cutting, I have a blue pancake, so I'm gonna call these my blueberry pancakes. And I have a, the top of my spatula and I have my stick. And you can color this. Maxwell, will you color the top of the spatula while I get the tape? Where's the spatula? Where's the colors? Here's the, here's the markers. I'm 
shave in my butt. Okay. Can you color, please? Yeah. I'm and I'm going to get some tape. Uh oh. Wait, where did our tape go? El, do you know where our tape is? No. We have misplaced our tape, so I'm going to go grab some tape and come back and join you. But in the meantime, if everybody would like to um, color in their, um, yeah, if you can do some coloring here, Elle. Yeah, okay. And maybe explain a little bit about what you might want to color on your spatula, because you can make your spatula however, however decorated you want it to be, and then you want to make sure you have your felt ready to go. And I'm gonna go look for the tape. Um, so you can really draw whatever you want. It's your own personal spatula. You're not gonna be using like um any um any of the um real pancakes so the marker will get on. So you can be as creative as you want. You could write your name, you can make your name really pretty. That's probably what I'm gonna do. You can draw flowers, you can draw dinosaurs, you can draw like what really whatever you want. And you don't have to use just markers. You can use like crayons and pens and pencils, whatever you have at your house. So Elle, while you're coloring, I'm gonna go ahead and tape our, actually Maxwell, are you ready for tape? Yes, I'm almost done. Okay, we're finishing up our coloring. I'm done with this one, but plain. Uh, I don't know where my little white stuff is. Uh, you're done with this one for now? Can we? No, can, no, I, I, why don't we go ahead and put this on so that we yeah, can just yeah. show everybody and then we'll keep drawing on it. So Ella started to write an E. And no, you're just taping. Oh, I guess if we go like that, it's a no, three. No, it's, and if we go it, like that, it's an E. <laughs> and then um, you're just going to tape your like a spatula with the stick or the pencil, whatever you have handy, um, onto the back of your card about halfway up so there's some sturdiness there. And you don't want to, if you're doing like a pencil or like a pen or something you want to use and it's not like done, you should probably just don't tape it like with so much tape because then it, it won't come off and <laughs> you, you lost a pencil. <laughs> That's all right. We can, we can reuse that. Okay. So then we're going to flip. Try. You want to try? Yeah. Okay. Try to flip your pancake. You want to go quick underneath. Oh, and then. <laughs> Well, that's not, I mean, flip it on the table oh. like this, ready? You want to go a quick scoop under to get the pancake and then turn okay, it I'm like that. Try. And that is great practice. Oh, uh -huh. it, it is it great practice to learn how to do pancakes because if you're trying to make what, pancakes at home, what's a lot it? of times, that's what's exactly that? what happens is that you actually end up pushing your pancake across the griddle. And so you want to practice that um, skill of just getting your pancake you're onto your spatula as easily as you can and flipped over. That is not how we flip pancakes. I want to do like the way the, 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 on the TV So we kind of get it under as quickly as we can and then you do like a little twist of your wrist. And it's great practice because then you can have your little ones practice flipping pancakes at home as well, like real pancakes, which do you guys want to actually practice with real pancakes in a little bit after we practice with our, with our pretend ones? Maxwell's very busy. All right. Well, in any case, I hope you all enjoy your delicious pesto pancakes for lunch. We are going to go make some more, and we're going to finish up our pancake flippers here yes. at home, and we're going to practice one? flipping pancakes, and then you're going to you're going to flip the real pancakes. Does that sound good? I flipped a real pancake. Yeah, we got to practice a little more Can first. I do the, the no, <laughs> no, you got to do it the right way. But that is, you flip it like and it goes behind Mommy, you. Mommy, look what it says, Maxwell. It says Maxwell. Maxwell, That's show it to the camera. Beautiful. All right, everybody, have a wonderful weekend. Max. We will be back here on Monday. Max. If there's any requests for what you'd like us to cook, let us know. If there's any requests for what we want to craft, uh, we're kind of figuring it out as we go along. So Mommy, we may. Look at the tape. You know, we may do crafts on Monday, cooking on Tuesday, whatever. Um, uh, we would look forward to hearing from you about um, about ideas. And stay well. Um, we miss seeing you in person, but these um, these classes have been amazing for us here, and I hope that um, you're enjoying them as well. Have a, a wonderful weekend. Piece. Bye, everybody. Mama, I need a longer piece. You need a longer piece? Yeah. All right, we'll get you a longer piece. Bye.